people have many misconceptions about psychology. Some people think that it is closely linked to philosophy. Some people, on the other hand, think that it has something to do with mental illness. Compared to other subjects of study, psychology is fairly recent. As a science, it came into existence only in 1879, that is, towards the end of 19th century. The word psyche means spirit or soul. So originally, psychology was related to philosophy. In fact, it was associated with religion also. In theology, psychology is related to conceptions of the soul and the mind. St. Thomas Aquinas wrote about uh, psychology and it is all uh, theological speculation. So, uh, modern psychology is defined as the science of the mind or behavior. What is the mind? It is a very dubious concept. We all know that there is something known as the mind, but it is very difficult to pinpoint what the mind is. The entire area of dynamic psychology uses the term mind, conscious mind, subconscious mind and all that. But later on, when behaviorism developed in psychology, they dislike the concept of mind, which cannot be precisely defined. And therefore, the behavior is redefined psychology as the science of behavior. In modern times, that is in the uh, late 20th century and 21st century, psychology has diversified in various directions and therefore a more comprehensive definition is required. Therefore, I prefer to use the definition, psychology is the science of consciousness, mind and behavior. Psychology is considered to be a science nowadays and many degrees awarded nowadays are B.Sc., M.Sc., D.Sc. and so on. But some people think that psychology has elements which uh, are theoretical and therefore some people use, like, like to use the term study. They define psychology as the study of consciousness, mind and behavior. Psychology has various approaches. Some people emphasize the experimental approach. Some people use the survey type of non-experimental empirical study. Some people emphasize theory as very important in the beginning to be followed by empirical validation of hypothesis. Most people uh, think that psychology has something to do with mental illness. Again, there are different points of view. Some people think that unlike psychiatry, psychology need not emphasize 
the concept of disease and cure. They like to talk about personal growth, emphasizing the positive aspect rather than the pathological aspect. Another very broad area of psychology is testing or measurement of uh, personality or, or of individual differences. The concept of IQ is well known and similarly there are tests which assess a person's degree of adjustment. And then psychology has many fields of application. One primary field of application is education. Psychological counseling, selection of subjects of study or uh, making career choices. These are important areas in educational psychology. Similarly, psychology has important applications in the field of industry and business. That is the study of uh, personal selection, uh, studies regarding efficiency of work, psychology of management, and so on. There are uh, very many um, areas which are not very much emphasized, but which are gaining in importance in recent years. For example, the psychology of uh, administration or politics, and then the psychological aspects of economics, and so on. Then there is the more controversial areas of parapsychology, which deals with the uh, study of the paranormal. Then there are borderline areas like psychology of consciousness and transpersonal psychology. So psychology is now related to many other fields of study like uh, animal behavior and ethology, differences among different uh, races and people living in different countries. Psychology is uh, bridging the gap between many fields of study and different sciences. Psychology is becoming interdisciplinary and uh, it has its application in uh, different classical areas of academic activity. Psychology is now either the most popular subject or psychology is uh, the second most popular subject in many universities all over the world. Its importance is growing day by day. Many people are also getting interested in psychology and in distance education centers, psychology is the most popular subject. 